This is Partners in Crime with Adam Croft and... Not the other one. Hello and welcome to another episode of Partners in Crime. Well, this week, Adam here, as you might have noticed, hosting solo for the second time ever on Partners in Crime. We've uh, not been here for the last couple of weeks and there are reasons for that. Um, Bob has been away uh, for the last week or so, out of action. He's had the Covids again. He's also been off cruising for work. He's been doing his uh, one-man show to uh, to people who literally have nowhere else to go. He's uh, on cruise ships. They've got literally nowhere else they can go. Captive audience. It's the only way he can get work, apparently. And I hear, actually, a few holidaymakers did ask if walking the plank was still an option. So uh, he's having lots of fun there on the cruise ships. The holidaymakers, not so much. We uh, couldn't do three weeks off in a row, though. I, I did I did try, but Moriarty wouldn't let us get away with it. Even asked Adrian Hobart. Um, he's at uh, London Book Fair this week, as is everyone else in publishing. So here I am, the one man who doesn't tend to go to these fairs and festivals and things like that, on his own, presenting Partners in Crime solo for the second time ever. That means it's likely to be a much shorter episode, but that's probably because we don't have Bob waffling on. So... Let's crack on. Let's get on with it, shall we? Over to Patreon. Hello to Elaine Brown, who joins us as a brand new patron this week. Hello to you. And we've had uh, some mail in the mailbag from Julie Benson. Hello to you too, Julie. She says, hi, Adam and Bob. Still loving the podcast and, of course, your books. Thank you very much. I'm surprised, she says, I haven't heard either of you mention the Jack Reacher series, Reacher, which was released, <clears throat> pardon me, <coughs> frog in the throat, which was released on Amazon Prime earlier this year. I absolutely loved it, she says, and Alan Richardson is as close to the Jack Reacher of the books as you could possibly get. He really knocks Tom Cruise into a cocked hat. <laughs> if you haven't caught it, you really should. Is he a bit taller then, Julie? Because I think that was the, uh, the problem people had with Tom Cruise, wasn't it? But uh, the whole point with Jack Reacher is he's, he's quite a tall lad. Um, no, I don't think we have mentioned it, actually. But we, we, we try to steer away from the big things that people will have heard of anyway. We have been doing a bit of that, especially when they're, they're just things that we, we couldn't avoid, really. But uh, no, we haven't talked about the new Jack Reacher series, Reacher. I'm sure Bob will mention it at some point. He tends to do the uh, the Netflix, Amazon Prime, Sky, all the TV stuff. Um, because, frankly, when it comes to TV, I don't tend to watch too much crime. I tend to keep that for my books, for my reading. And uh, when it sits down, to, when it comes down to sitting in front of the TV at the end of the day, in the evening, frankly, it feels like a bit of a busman to be watching crime thrillers as well. Uh, Julie also asks where Bob's new book, Rock to Death, is. Um, I think his publisher's been asking that question too, Julie. Although I did hear Bob mention the book Rock to Death in a TV interview with Alan Titchmarsh recently. So he has made an official public commitment to it. Um, and from what I've heard about Alan Titchmarsh, it's um, it's a commitment that Bob had better keep. Otherwise, he, uh, he might find himself waking up in the middle of the night to the sound of secateurs being sharpened. Mm. Now, I mentioned Patreon a few moments ago. And if you are a Partners in Crime patron, amongst the many other things you get, which uh, includes uh, access to every episode of Partners in Crime a few days earlier than everybody else, you get to see it in full HD video as well. Extra bonus episode each week, Partners in Crime Arsenic Arnold Lace. Um, that shout out in the show on the week you joined that Elaine Brown had earlier on and uh, access to lots more stuff, including a free book of the month every month, courtesy of Kobo. And this month, the free book of the month for April is the Slim Hardy Mystery Series Books 1 to 3 box set. A box set. We haven't had one of those in a while, have we? More books for your money, which is no money because it's free. And um, that's by Jack Benton, the Slim Hardy Mystery Series. It includes uh, the first three books, The Man by the Sea, The Clockmaker's Secret 
and The Games Keeper. That's the first three books in a six-book crime series. So plenty to get stuck into. That box set usually sells at five ninety nine on the ebook. It's yours absolutely free if you're a Partners in Crime patron, and that will be in your dashboard now. If you're not a Partners in Crime patron, we'd love for you to join Elaine and all the others. Just follow the link in the show notes or go to patreon.com forward slash Partners in Crime podcast. And even on our weeks off, you get access to Moriarty's musings and lots of other stuff which will keep you suitably amused in the meantime while uh, while Bob is either coughing up his lungs or uh, making cruise ship guests wish that they were. Now, in the news this week over on the bookseller, I saw that Waterstones have launched a £5,000 debut fiction prize to champion new voices, which will be voted for by the chain's booksellers. The £5,000 prize will be open to all debut fiction, including genre fiction such as crime, good, uh, sci-fi and fantasy, as well as fiction in translation, and winners will receive the backing of all Waterstones shops. The inaugural shortlist for the Waterstones Debut Fiction Prize will be announced on the 21st of July, followed by the announcement of the winner on the 25th of August. So that's all uh, coming up in the summer, which would uh, which will be lovely, won't it? As well as the sunshine, which I'm hoping we get, because we haven't done a weather forecast yet on Partners in Crime. But as I record this, looking pretty grotty, although I am told it should start to improve next week. So uh, you'll be pleased to know that, won't you? Also in the news, um, on CrimeReads.com, Paula Hawkins was, um, I mean, frankly, there to advertise her new book, A Slow Fire Burning, which is out on June 21st. And um, they made this um, advert look a little more appealing by asking her to name her um, five novels with criminal acts at their heart that she would recommend. Um, She went for The Haunting of Hill House, the 1959 book by Shirley Jackson, uh, which uh, isn't one that I'd I'd actually heard of. A couple of these aren't, though, but um, that shouldn't surprise you. She also went for uh, The Cement Garden from 1978. That's Ian McEwan's debut novel, which is described here as the thrillingly bleak story of four orphan siblings who, in order to avoid being taken into care, hide the death of their mother, concealing her body encased in cement in the cellar of their family home. And left to their own devices, the children's attempt to pursue normal life gradually unravel, and they withdraw from the world, turning feral and retreating into fantasy, while domesticity turns to decay and love too is corrupted. Uh, she chose also, from 1986, a wonderful year, that's some great people born then, uh, A Dark Adapted Eye by Barbara Vine, who, of course, uh, otherwise known as Ruth Rendell, um, 2005's No Country for Old Men by Cormac McCarthy, and Into the Woods, the 2007 novel by Tana French. So uh, some wonderful suggestions there from Paula Hawkins that you might want to check out from our sponsors, Kobo, because they gratefully sponsor us. I think we're more grateful than them. They're one of the world's largest ebook retailers, and as a listener to Partners in Crime, you can get 90% off of your first ebook purchase from Kobo. Just use the promo code CRIME22 at the checkout. And if you've already used it, then you can follow the link in the show notes and get 40% off of selected titles for life using the promo code PARTNERS22. You don't need an e-reader or any special device. You can use your phone or tablet or, frankly, whatever you're listening to this on, unless it's a radio, and then you might have a bit of trouble. The other things that I wanted to mention to you this week are book recommendations from the good folk at Kobo themselves, because they are very kindly sending over some book recommendations of uh, basically things they've got cluttering up the stockroom that they want to get rid of. And they've gone for the uh, lockdown thriller 56 Days by Catherine Ryan Howard, which came out last August. It's an award winner, an international bestseller, and is a multiple book of the year selection. It's described as an original thriller set in lockdown, which is set to get a huge push. And they say you should also check out Catherine's latest creepy release, The Nothing Man. And their other recommendation is We Begin at the End by Chris Whitaker. That's a crime mystery released in March 2020 when nothing else was happening, really, was it? 
It's been picked six times as a book of the year and as an enormous bestseller described as a masterpiece. And Chris apparently has an excellent backlist and released a YA debut novel in 2021. So do go and check those out and any others that you like the sound of using your Kobo promo codes. Right, well, I did say it was going to be a pretty short episode this week. And I do apologise for that. But look, look what happens when Bob's not here and we cut the waffle down to 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes. How about that? At least you've got some content. At least you've got something. And at least I've shown that on those weeks off where Bob perhaps is uh, off working and uh, ruining people's holidays or coughing his guts up somewhere. I've really got no excuse, have I? I could still do little mini episodes. Do you want that? Or will you miss Bob? If the answer is that you wouldn't miss Bob, do write in and let me know, won't you? It will give him more work to do, but it's nice to know that I'm better than him. I'll see you next week. Partners in Crime was presented by Adam Croft and not the other one and produced by Adam Croft. The theme tune was by the Caesarians. The Partners in Crime logo and imagery were designed by Stuart Beish. Partners in Crime is sponsored by Kobo, your favourite local bookshop. Perfected. Perfected.